what's up? How's it going? Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Welcome. This is Sean. I do sneakers. I do travel and everything in between. Hey, guess what, guys? We're almost at 3,000 subscribers, at least as of the publication of this video. Who knows? Maybe I'll publish the video. We're already at 3,000. But the point is, we're almost at 3K. It means I'm going to be picking our winner of the Air Force One sneaker. That's just totally insane. Thanks for all your support, guys. Okay, let's do a quick recap of the two giveaways that I have. We have, of course, the 3K special. When we get to 3,000 subscribers, I'm gonna pick a winner. The mechanics for that giveaway are easy. All you have to be is a subscriber on YouTube and a follower on Instagram. You qualify if you're in both platforms. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reference both platforms. I'm going to use a random selector program to pick a winner and when you get picked, watch out for an Instagram story. I'm going to do it via Instagram, okay? And the other giveaway is the one in partnership with the Baus with the Souse, Carlo Ople. Yes, we're giving away a Vans Skate High Blue Flame in collaboration with WTAPS Sneaker. We're also giving away an Air Jordan 32 Why Not Edition Blue and Orange OKC. The mechanics are so easy. All you have to do is to check the description. The mechanics are all in there. And Carlo is simultaneously promoting this giveaway on his channel. So if you're not subscribed to him yet... And that is an impossibility, right? If you watch him, you watch me. If you're subscribed to him, of course you're subscribed to me. Who am I kidding? In the off chance that you're not subscribed to his channel, watch his videos. He's going to announce this giveaway also. Good luck, guys. And before we really, really get to the topic, I'd like to show you a sneaker from Sean's Vault, AKA the old dusty closet. So obviously I'm being very careful. It's a sneaker from 2007. It's a 12 year old sneaker. You know what that is. Unbelievable. It's an Air Jordan 3, pure money. Isn't that mesmerizing, guys? Look at that, they've started to cake. They're crumbly. Man. Okay, let's get to the subject here. These are the sneakers that I won't wear. Okay, let's do two categories here. Sneakers that I won't wear with certainty, with finality. Sneakers that I definitely wouldn't wear forever, whatever happens, right? And there's sneakers that I won't wear for now. Okay, it's important to put that qualifier for now because, you know, you have your convictions, but convictions are based on circumstances. And, uh... I'll explain later when we get to the sneakers that I won't wear for now. Let's set some parameters first for the sneakers that I won't wear. Because it's easy to say, I won't ever wear 100,000 peso Gucci sneakers. Of course, they're expensive, they're, they're way off budget, you know what I mean? Uh, there's also, uh, I won't ever wear girl sneakers. And you're a straight guy, of course you won't wear girl sneakers. Okay, understood? The first sneaker that I won't wear for now so get the qualifier right for now i won't wear slip-ons with eyelets right you've seen those chucks those slip-on chucks with uh with uh with the eyelets on the side of course where else would they be those you've seen those um it's just it's just personal taste i guess you know if you if you rock those and you feel good in those no problem man i mean to each his own, right? But for me, I, I can't quite put a finger on it, but um, I don't think it's my style. I, I, I feel that it's an incomplete sneaker. It's undone. It tries to look trendy, but for me, they just won't work. It's a sneaker that I won't wear for now. Another sneaker that I won't wear, definitely. Okay, I'm calling it right. Bold move here. I won't wear these sneakers with finality. I definitely won't wear it. Sneakers with team logos, all right? A good example here would be, you've seen the, the Supreme collaboration with Nike. Uh, they came out several months ago, the, the, the Supreme NBA 
Air Force Ones, man, they're ugly. They're ugly. They're plastered with team logos everywhere. And here's the, here's the funny thing. The sneaker carries different team logos, different team logos. Like there's, yeah, there's New York, there's New York and Boston and Chicago in, in one sneaker. That's just ridiculous, right? It's, I just won't wear them. Another sneaker that I won't wear, and uh, this isn't a brand, this isn't a category, but it's more of a sneaker condition. I won't ever, ever wear dirty sneakers. If, if you've been hanging with me for a while now, you know that I have an aversion to white sneakers, mainly because I don't like dirty sneakers. And white sneakers, they get, they get dirty. That, that's what happens to white sneakers, whatever you do. White sneakers get dirty and they never go back to its original, pristine, white, pure condition. All my sneakers are clean, man. I very rarely get them dirty in the first place, you know? I'm, I'm conscious about the sneakers on my feet when, I, when I'm outside. But don't get me wrong, I, I'm not ridiculously careful, you know? I'm not that guy who would, uh, who would be so careful with every stride, looking like a total idiot. I can't get my sneakers dirty. No, no, but I have this consciousness to not get them dirty because that's, that's just how I am. And speaking of conscious, I am so conscious right now because this thing is still in front of me on the table. Man, if I sneeze, this thing is gonna crumble. Don't crumble in front of me, my friend. The next and final sneaker that I won't wear, and I won't wear these sneakers with finality. I definitely won't wear them. These are fake sneakers. My reasons are obvious, you know, fake sneakers are illegal. They're produced illegally, obviously. And you know what? The money they get from the sales of these sneakers is used to fund other criminal activities like prostitution and drugs and smuggling. I know people who like fakes, I know people who buy fakes. You may know people who buy fakes also, maybe you're one of them. You know, um, I'm not stopping you, I'm not saying no, don't do that, but I guess I'm discouraging you, right? Uh, am I confusing you? But uh, I'm making a stand here. Um, it's not for me, it's not for me. They, the, if um, I'm obviously struggling with words because we, we've come to uh, the touchy part of fakes, you know? One can say that he buys fakes because it's the sneakers that he can afford. They look the same and uh, the, the person believes that they perform just as well as the authentic pairs. You got to make a stand here, you know, it's illegal. It's lying, it's cheating, it's stealing and the money they acquire from you is used to fund other illegal activities. And that's all the reason I need to not mess with fakes. Not now, not ever. So what are the sneakers that you won't wear? Let me know, hit me up in the comments, let's have a conversation. Let's add on to my categories, okay? If there's a category I missed, if there's a funny sneaker that you wanna talk about, if there's a strange, ridiculous sneaker that you wanna present to me, hit me up in the comments, all right? Before we go, I'd like to remind you that your value as a person is not measured by what's on your feet. Guys, be kind, that's more important than sneakers. I'll see you next time.